G'day guys, this is Tia, and I'm absolutely fucking filthy at the moment. If you don't know what that means, it's an Australian term for pissed the fuck off. Oh yeah, swear warning for all. Today's Fallout 76 video is going to be covering more info about the God Mode glitch, and all the ways people can stack stuff during PvP. The reason I'm showing all of this stuff off is so that Bethesda will finally patch it, so that it becomes widespread knowledge and Bethesda will get off their fucking ass and fix these glitches. So share this video to Reddit, Share it to Twitter, put it on a floppy disk, and mail it to Todd Howard's fucking front door for all I care. I just want this shit patched out of the game so that PvP can become less of a cesspool of toxicity and cancer. So long story short, I was doing a bit of PvP today as I normally do, and came across this moron. I killed him twice with relative ease. Actually, it was incredibly easy. So anyway, he died twice, and then I guess I put him into God Mode on the second death. He refused to leave and denied ever being in God Mode in the first place. Clearly by the video, that isn't true. He is 100% in God Mode. He is only taking damage by my Power Armor Suit's Area of Effect Acid Damage. And for those that don't know what I mean by that, the Strangler Heart Armor emits poison damage when you stand too close to it. This among with bleed damage like the Bleed Out Syringer and Serrated Melee Weapons can damage God Mode players. My encounter with this player just really angered me and amazed me that people are still abusing God Mode and claiming that their hands are clean. If you do do this, you're a fucking grub. So in this video, I'm busting this shit wide open. I'm showing myself getting into God Mode whilst in a private world with Neo, who will be helping me test some things. And I'll be showing just how easy a player can abuse this glitch. I'm showing all the glitches you can perform whilst in God Mode, i.e. armor stacking and consumable stacking. And I'm just going to pray to Todd Howard that someone of importance at Bethesda will see this video and finally patch these limp dick bugs that have been here since launch out of the fucking game. So now I'm going to show exactly how easy it is for one player to get into God Mode, and then I'm going to do some experimenting on it, Angry Turtle style. So what we're going to do now guys is I'm going to try my hardest to get put into God Mode, show you guys exactly how easy it is to do. I could do it to myself and shoot the ground, but I will get Neo here to demonstrate. He's holding a bloodied explosive laser pistol. I by far found this to be the easiest weapon to induce God Mode. Basically all you do is, when you die, get blown up by an explosive energy weapon or a regular energy weapon like a Tesla rifle. You just spam the hell out of Y to seek revenge and respawn as fast as possible. That is by far the most effective way to get into God Mode. I'm telling you this so that it gets patched, so that it becomes widespread knowledge, so that everyone can share it around and it gets patched. Alright, let's get started. 2,000 years later. So, here we fucking are, finally. Remember how I said I'm going to show you how easily this is to, to start up? We tried doing it on a private server for like almost an hour. It just would not work on a private server. We had to go into an American public server. As soon as we did that, it worked. <laughs> But if we finally got there, we finally managed to put myself in God Mode, as you can tell by the flames. So right now I will list off all the ways that it is possible to get put into God Mode. Get killed by a player with an explosive laser, or regular laser if you're extremely lucky, that's rarer. Get killed with an explosive Gatling Plasma, or regular Plasma, or Plasma Rifle. Again, non-explosive is extremely lucky. Get killed with a Tesla. Those are like the three, technically six, six main ways to get put into God mode. So without further ado, let's continue on with the tests. So now that we're in God mode, I will just shoot myself to verify. Yeah, I can't kill myself. I cannot die. I'm jumping around. My AP does not go down. I'll sprint. My AP does not go down. Those are another symptoms of God mode. It's like I don't exist. But anyway, so what I am actually going to be testing in this video is stacking. You can stack some stuff in this, which I am going to show you guys. So we're going to First off, we're going to remove our rat away and get to full health. And then we're going to stack our Vanguard's armor. Look at our armor. Equipping it and unequipping it just makes it go all the way up. As high as I want it to go. I could do this infinitely and become literally invincible during PvP and make it seem like I'm not in God mode. That is what people do. People do this, they're slimy as fuck, and that is what they do. They will do this and get to like 10,000 energy and damage resistance respectively, walk around like they had top shit, and they'll just try and fight people, and pretend they're not in god mode, because if I was to be shot right now, I would, they'd be doing like ones on me, one damage to me, and they'll just be like, oh, he's tanky, he's, you know, I'm not taking down his health, he's just tanky, he's not in god mode. So yeah, that's, that's pretty slimy, people are doing shit like this. 
I'm going to stop around 2000 uh, energy and damage resistance. Obviously that doesn't really affect me since I'm in god mode, I can't be killed anyway, but this is just what people do to try and mask the fact that they're using god mode to their advantage. So I'm going to get down to low health and we're going to be testing another thing that you can do with this glitch. Alright, so guys, now that I am at low health, I will show you guys how this works with the unyielding as well. Done it a little bit. Stats have gone up. Just keep spamming it and spamming it and spamming it and spamming it and spamming it. And the unyielding effect will continue to stack. And it only stacks up to a maximum of 100, I've found in my testing. It can, all stats can get to a 100 and then you're done for. It cannot go past 100. So I'm going to see if I can get there just to show you guys. Okay, but look, you can see that right here. Everything is 100. That fire is kind of annoying. I'm going to use that for the thumbnail. Everything is 100 except for endurance. That is fucking insane. <laughs> so, that means that I have 800 carry weight and I have like, how much agility do I have? 1010. Close. That's what I mean. This is fucking stupid. That is so stupid. And people do this, they they use all sorts of bugs to use this right here to their advantage during PvP and PvE. Obviously, Bethesda, this affects PvE as well, so can we fix fucking god mode? People can just get 100 strength and fucking probably one hit the Scorch Beast Queen with, <laughs> with Psycho Buff on top of it. I don't fucking know. But anyway, speaking of Psycho Buff, that's what we're going to be testing next. So, we've shown vanguards, we've shown unyielding, we've shown that you know any armor can just be stacked as long as it's the main prefix, I think that's how it works, so like assassins could be stacked on top of each other just be invincible, even though you're already in god mode, but like people have found ways to stack armor stack outside of god mode, so they are killable but they can stack this shit like it's just crazy, man. it's a whole thing, I don't know how this has been swept under the rug for so long but yeah, so now what we're going to be doing is stacking psycho buff, I've got 90 here Keep, uh, my base damage right now is 135 with no perks on or any uh, things popped, so keep that in mind. 134 damage, and my health, thanks to the overview unyielding stuff, where's health? My health is at 75 out of 285 right now. Keep that in mind. 285, 134. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to stop there. 411 damage so far. 2445 health. And people can do this while they're not in god mode. Like, that's insane. 2445 health. I'm going to do a bit more damage wise and then I'm going to get Neo to uh, aggro to me and see how quickly it kills him. Eight hundred and fifteen damage. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the rest of this and see. Eight hundred and sixty-three. All right. We're gonna stop there. I'm gonna test it on there. All right. So we've actually reached nine hundred and six damage with a fucking Gatling plasma. Let's see how this fares for Neo. He's gonna do his best. He's wearing all of his good armor. He's gonna do his best to quantum through it. One hundred and ninety per pallet. One hundred and ninety per pallet. That is the max damage cap. Jesus fucking Christ. And people use this in PvP. How is this fair? How is this enjoyable? How is this winnable to beat? Like, I could... I could insta-kill anybody with this. 190 per pallet and the Gatling Plasma shoots like... Fucking 8 pallets per shot. So, I've just had a look at what my Pip-Boy looks like. Look at the Psycho buff. Look at it. Look at how small the letters is. It's just so stupid. My health is also at 5,000 right now. I don't know how long this lasts for, but the damage seems to be going down, so it's slowly wearing off. But like, 555 damage as it slowly wears off. Oh my god. This is in the game. This is actually in the game right now. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. You can see why Teslas and uh, people are just perceived to be better than they are, because they, they'll do shit like this. 
pop some psycho buffs, do the psycho buff stacking. Pretend, oh yeah man, I'm unkillable, I'm not in god mode, there's no fire around me. Because Teslas don't put that fire on them. And they'll just pretend that they're the fucking, they're top shit. You know, they'll put all these videos out on YouTube and they'll just think they're top shit. Fucking hell man. Shit like this actually exists. This exists. Alright, so one last testing thing before we head off to the next section. Bobbleheads. You guys remember back in the day when you could stack explosive bobbleheads with the two-shot explosive dragon and just one-shot the Scorch Beast Queen? Yeah, you can basically still do that through this glitch. So, I mean... <laughs> well, I'm going to pop a few heavy gun bobbleheads, see what my damage is at. It's at 60 now. Don't know why, but anyway, we'll roll with it. Pop 1. 67. Pop 2. 75. Pop 3. 82. You get the gist. I'm not going to waste all my bobbleheads. They're money, money, money. But you get the idea. Use this cunt. I don't know. Anyway, on to the next section. So what we're going to do now is just once again show the fact that I am in god mode. I am invincible in this mode. I'm going to get Neo to shoot me with absolutely everything he has. He has a pretty powerful Vampire's Explosive Gatling Plasma. He's got all of his buffs going so he's doing around 200 damage in the Pit boy 220 damage, something like that in the Pit boy It's pretty powerful. That's the point. And watch my health bar. It doesn't move. So let's give him the go signal. Alright, so there's a bit of residue ear fuckery, sorry about that, I'll put a warning at the start of that, but basically, as you can tell, you can't die, you can't be killed, you can't be harmed in this, apart from a few exclusive ways, which I will show uh, at the end of this video, because obviously once I die, it's hard to get back into god mode. And if I use all the other glitches that I've shown you at the start of this video, like Vanguard stacking, it would seem like I'm not in god mode, it would just seem like I'm really tanky. If I use Unyielding, I could get a lot of strength to just kill whatever I wanted with melee. If I used uh, Psycho Buff stacking, I could just make it seem like, again, I'm really tanky and just incredibly powerful. I could just kill anyone with the pull of a trigger, with literally one bullet, one burst spray from a Gatling Plasma or a Tesla Rifle or whatever I feel like using. It's, it's stupid. This needs to be patched, Bethesda. I cannot fucking put that out there enough. This needs to be patched. But that's pretty much all there is to it. You can stack absolutely anything in the game as long as it's a consumable or a prefix of armor. You could stack Cranberry Cobbler and get like plus a million percentage XP per kill. You know how insane that would be for leveling? You'd kill one glowing ant and get like 100,000 XP and level up 20 times. Shit like that. You can get infinite damage, you can get infinite energy resistance, infinite damage resistance, infinite XP gain, infinite special stats. Whatever you want. This needs to be patched, and I can't stress this enough for the PvP community, because I'm sick of the toxic bullshit. So I encountered a problem, I should have done this in reverse order, because thanks to the psycho buff stacking, I have a lot of health, so I can't visibly show you them damaging me, because I've got so much health. But, as you can see by the numbers, the HP is going down due to their strangler heart area of effect damage. That is one of the few poisonous things that can affect my health while it's in god mode. It's a weird thing, their bullet projectiles, when they shoot me, actually doesn't affect me, as I'll try and get them to do. But them being next to me does take down my health, as you can see it's going down from 1400. And as you can see, while he is shooting me in Strangleheart, my health is not going down any quicker because of it. It's going down about the exact same as beforehand. So yeah. The Strangler Heart acid damage from the projectiles that they fire doesn't do anything, but the air of effect does. It's weird. God mode's weird. So obviously I'll heal back up and I'll get them guys to shoot me with a uh, syringe, bleed out syringe to show that that does damage me. Yep, there's one shot and my health is going down pretty rapidly actually. There's two shots. I am getting the uh, acid damage still, you can see it in the pit boy, and I'm getting the bleed out syringe. Uh, those both at the very top underneath alcohol addiction, I'm getting those damage over times, and those are actually affecting me whilst in god mode, so those are the only surefire ways to actually <laughs> kill a player whilst he's in god mode, it's ridiculous. So I think that what god mode actually does is because I technically don't exist, any buff I take will permanently be there, so because I stood next to them, 
the acid damage is permanently there, I'm permanently taking minus 4 HP. And that I guess now I'll permanently take that bleed out syringe damage, minus 3 over 10 seconds. So basically, if I don't want to die now to continue the experiment, I'll take a nuke quantum. You can be kept alive in, <laughs> in god mode pretty easily to be a giant fucking cuck, basically. These are the surefire ways to actually kill someone whilst in god mode. If you want a full video, if you want a full breakdown on how to kill people in god mode, I have a video that I'll link in the top right now. I, re I highly recommend that you check it out if you're interested in this sort of thing. But anyway, I will let these guys kill me now and we'll continue on with the video. So, and there we go. The only way a god mode player can be killed, acid damage and bleed out damage and I'm assuming that fire damage that was permanently on me from the laser rifle, I'm not too sure on that, don't quote me on that, but I think that does hurt me. So we're going to respawn here and continue with the video. And now all my stuff is back to normal and it actually has timers on it, I don't have all that ridiculous health, all that ridiculous damage stacking. I'm, I'm, my character's back to normal once I died, which is nice, because I don't like being in that glitch. So yeah, this glitch is just fucking stupid. And as always, just to quickly, the ways to spot god mode players are they will have gore bits and bones sticking out of their body, as demonstrated on the video, and by this video here of Nier, I'll pull from his captures. They will be permanently on fire, F shot by a fire inducing weapon. They will not have the acid damage attack on their body if fired upon by a strangler heart user, as you saw in this video. And if they take a stealth boy, they will be completely invisible, not even rendered into the game at all. Sometimes that one's a bit iffy, don't quote me on that. The fact that this is even a thing pisses me off beyond a belief. This needs to be patched. Before or as Wastelanders drops. This needs to be patched. Bethesda, because I guarantee you Bethesda, if little bugs like this keep getting thrown under the rug in favour of atomic shop items, people will leave your game. It needs to be fixed. I urge each and every one of you watching to email, tweet, post it to Reddit, do whatever you can to get it noticed by Bethesda. It needs to be patched. Sorry guys, this has been another one of my off-the-rail, unfiltered rant videos, but like I said, I'm fucking filthy at this situation. <laughs> this has been everything you need to know about God Mode, and armor stacking, psycho buff stacking, it's all out there on the internet now, and it's going to be, if this goes how I think it's going to go, it'll this video will get shared a lot, it'll become common knowledge to the common player, it'll become an issue for a little bit, so Bethesda will hopefully patch it. And that's what I'm hoping on. I want it to get patched. I want this out of the game. So that's going to do it for me, guys. A massive thank you once again, as always, to my channel members, Tarsal Carcass, Unbust Walnut, and Neolux. Neolux is always a great help with videos. Check him out in the description below. And thank you also to Null and Voided, who helped out with this video. You're a fucking legend, mate. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias and join my Discord, all of which will be linked down below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more from me, then please consider subscribing. My name is Tia. I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.